the UN is mandated to preserve world heritage, but UNESCO, a world body, time and again, makes a mockery of that heritage, uh, most absurdly, when it denies the connection, uh, 3,000 years old, of the Jewish people to our eternal capital, Jerusalem. Uh, the UN is mandated to pursue peace, but it allows Palestinian hate speech to flourish in its institutions. Uh, the UN uh, is mandated, mandated to uh, stand up for human rights, but it allows in its various forms the worst human rights violators to take up the, the cudgel and to uh, accuse Israel of violating human rights. Uh, I think the most pressing problem that we face uh, regards Hezbollah in Syria. The UN uh, was mandated to prevent Hezbollah weapon searches, uh, shipments, but effectively it is uh, not reported, in my knowledge, even one of the tens of thousands of uh, weapon smugglings into uh, Lebanon for Hezbollah, contrary to uh, Resolution 1701. There is a larger problem, and that problem, Mr. Secretary, is that Iran uh, is busy turning Syria into a base of military entrenchment, and it wants to use uh, Syria and Lebanon as war fronts against its declared goal to eradicate Israel. Uh, it is also building uh, sites to produce precision-guided missiles towards that end in both Syria and in Lebanon. This is something Israel cannot accept. This is something the UN should not accept. I will do everything in my uh, capacity to make sure that UNIFIL fully meets its mandate. Uh, and I understand the security concerns of Israel, and I repeat that uh, uh, the idea or the intention or the will uh, to destroy the State of Israel is something totally unacceptable from my perspective. You can be absolutely sure that, uh, as Secretary General of the United Nations, I am totally committed to be, uh, in this regard, adamant. The right of existence of the State of Israel is clear, and the right of existence in security of the State of existence is clear. Uh, as uh, you mentioned, uh, uh, Mr. Prime Minister, Member states are sovereign states. Member states define their positions based on their interests, their values, their convictions. As Secretary General of the United Nations, I believe it's my duty to be simultaneously an honest broker and a messenger for peace. I'm going to